This allows more than one person to look at the sun. On Monday, Grossmont College astronomy instructor Philip Blanco will be in central Oregon, pointing a telescope directly at the moon as it passes in front of the sun. He's planning to contribute to the Citizen Kate experiment, a cross-country effort to capture images of the sun's inner corona. Where he's headed, things could get hectic, but Blanco says it'll be worth it. I don't like the crowds. I'd rather be in the middle of a field somewhere. Uh, but there is that feeling of uh, doing an expedition, overcoming some obstacles, and working with uh, a team, which is something that we as astronomers love to do. After the eclipse, Blanco plans to fly back to San Diego just in time to arrive at Grossmont for his first day of classes. San Diego Astronomy Association President Mike Chasen says about a dozen members of his organization will also be traveling to Oregon. But he's heading to Wyoming with his daughter to see his first total eclipse. I've never seen one, so I've heard they're, they're really spectacular and no words or videos will do it justice. You just have to experience it yourself. So having one that wasn't too far away, uh, this just seemed like the, uh, the right time to make the trip and check it out. Plenty of local astronomy buffs are staying put in San Diego. They're hoping for clear skies and an unobstructed view of a partial eclipse that will peak at 10.23 a.m. David Wagner, KPBS News.